like this. You like that? It's not as flavorful as the other ones. No? <laughs> So we are at Desta Ethiopian Kitchen and I'm here with Mano Setu 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 Bagai. We need to talk about this last name. Okay. Bienvenue. Oh, we parle français. Oh, look at that. And um, so we have Nati here that is going to serve us and take care of us tonight. And so Ronald and I are trying Ethiopian cuisine for the first time. I've never had it. I've seen it on TV many a time. So I'm looking forward to the experience. So talk to me, talk to me Nati first about Ethiopian cuisine. What is it? it doesn't seem to be like any other cuisine in, in Africa. It's kind of its own flavors and foods. And a lot of vegans like to come and eat Ethiopian food. So tell us all about so, like you mentioned, it, it's, it's very unique to Ethiopia. Um, during, uh, when, during the demar demarcation of Africa and Europe coming into Africa, when they colonized different nations, they, they took away the culture of a lot of them. Ethiopia remains uncolonized. Independent. Yeah, yeah. We're uncolonized. So, our culture, our history, food, everything is still intact. Mm -hmm. um, we have over 80 different ethnicities with their own you know, different languages, dialects, expressions with food and dance and everything. So, very diverse in terms of food. Um, but this is kind of um, partly a representation of the cuisine of Ethiopia. There's a lot more to it. But, yeah, we offer a diverse range of food from vegan options to meat options. Um, meat is very popular in Ethiopia, so okay. lamb, beef, um, and so is the vegan stuff. Okay. Um, and then here, you know, vegan is more, veganism is more of a trend. Mm -hmm. you know, where, where people, I feel, in their life, um, their, their status is improving, they want to eat more healthy greens and stuff. Ooh. Whereas Ethiopia, mm -hmm. That's when you're wealthy, way. when you start living better, you eat more meat. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's it goes the other way. That's where they are. Yeah, so, but yeah, all of it's really good. Mm -hmm. and, and then you recommended that I try the honey Ethiopian wine. honey wine. Yeah. This is a more refined version. Okay. Uh, the, the more traditional honey wine is is like um, the color is more is gonna be more cloudy because it's really the honey is still in there. It's like you're mixing honey and water, and there's a leaf that goes in there and it ferments. Wow. So this this one is. You more know like, you have to use a little tip. Yeah, yeah. You have to open. We got a hole in You have to. You know that. you have to aerate. There you go. Hold is that. what they say, right? You have With to this aerate. One, you know, <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you just. If you like sweet wine, really? it's yummy. Yeah, it's very, very good. But very good. I have the finest glass of water, of water. in the house. Can you tell, tell them where that water came from? The water actually is um, is flown uh, via. We actually connect the canal directly from here to the taps here to the Blue Nile. Yeah. The only place in the United States of America that's connected to the Nile. To the Nile. And you can get your glass of water straight from the Nile straight here. From the Nile. At this. I like that. I bought off an alligator actually on my way. Man, I appreciate that, man. Anything for you. But you know, I will repay you in my country someday. <laughs> so, Nati, thank you so much. We'll take a look and see what we'll try this evening. Me too, me too. Oh, oh, there's one for me here. Okay. So, 
We have our platters. We're at Desta. Ethiopian kitchen. Wow. And Ronald decided to go with a, veg a, ve a vegan platter. Nazi, can you tell us what you did? What everything is. Okay. Yeah. So right here we have the chickpea stew, which is called shiro. Then we have the red lentil stew, it's called misse. We have the yellow split peas, which is atta. We have potato stew. We have the green lentil stew. We have the greens, prepared these different styles, called gongmen. We have the cabbage. We have azifa, which is a cold lentil salad. We have the beets and potato salad. We have the sinjo, which is a blend of greens, tofu, and hot mustard. And then you have the tomato fritter which is the injera itself cut into smaller pieces. Uh, with diced tomatoes, peppers, onions, and house salad. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of flavors on that. Okay. Amazing. I, this is I like a party it. plate. Yes. It is, it's amazing. <laughs> yes. it looks amazing. And then you and got then your uh, lamb, the lamb. with potatoes cooked in there. With, right, right. Uh, Miss Sip, which is the red lentil stew. Yeah, uh -huh. some of it over here. Uh -huh. That is my favorite thing. Besides some of the meat items. Okay, okay. All right, so Ronald, okay, let's try it. All right, so we're supposed to. Injera? Injera. Injera. Okay, so we're gonna try this. So you take a piece off, right? Yeah, you can cut a piece. Uh, you can get like. Oh, okay, half you got like a spring that roll. <laughs> <laughs> that happens sometimes. Oh, okay. Okay. So then you fold it like no, so, right? No, no, actually, you would. Talk, talk to me. Open, yeah. uh -huh. You can cut that in half. Cut it in half. Too big, okay. There it is. Then you can put it on the meat, the part with the holes. Yeah. On there. Pick it up. You know that? I like to do the same thing? Yeah. yeah. You got a lot more. <laughs> this is this looks like uh, guacamole, but you said this is what? Sinjo. Which is Sinjo. Like green yes. tofu hot mustard. That's good. Hot mustard? Oh my gosh. The bread, the injera, like you said, is spongy. So it soaks up um, the, the sauce. Mmm. Mm. Hey, the miss is really good. Try this one. I know. This is so good. Hey, Mrs. So good. Mrs. What is Mrs. Mrs. Like, like Mr. without the two. Mrs. 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 So this is a red lentil stew. Mm -hmm. So the bread is mm. a bit oily. Yes? No, uh, it's the meat it's that's the meat. oily. It's okay. soaking it up. That's pretty okay. good. That is really good. And you know, surprisingly, when you said this had a sour taste, I really don't taste, it doesn't taste that sour to me because I, I typically don't Try like it by sour. Itself. Yes, yes, I taste it more by itself. When it soaks up the flavor, it just takes the flavor. So this is lamb. So how is this prepared? What, what are the... I feel like I need a whole bowl of this. What are the, 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 the spices that are, that are used? Um, that I cannot disclose. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> That's why you gotta come to Desta <laughs> oh. to enjoy those flavors. Okay. You know? Okay. Um, no are, competition. Are, are there flavors or spices that are used that you can share in Ethiopian cuisine? Yeah, I mean, um, salt, pepper, you got your. Uh, Nazi, come <laughs> on! <laughs> With them, you know, like, we don't Nazi make this dread. with butter. But then, um, because this doesn't taste like anything that I'm familiar yeah, with. Yeah, so we don't make it with butter, but then other <laughs> other places might make butter with it. Like in Ethiopia, we still make cups with butter. Um, May I? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm trying <laughs> no, to go around okay, the flavor. Okay. Yeah, you're saying that. That's okay. I want to see with the, the, this is gomi? Gomen. Gomen. Yeah. I shall be back. Thank you. Explore, enjoy. Mm -hmm. I'll be back with more napkins, okay? Is that collard greens? Mm -hmm. Prepare to tell Wait, what did you say call it? The That's gourmet? Gourmet. Gourmet is yeah, collard greens. Gourmet is collard greens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. And cabbage I'm, I'm, is tickled gourmet. Where's the cabbage? Tickled gourmet. This here? Tickled gourmet? Gourmet. This is the chickpeas right here, right? Yeah, that's the chickpeas. I'm sorry, Ronald. Go ahead. Enjoy. Let's see. Whoa. I think this might be too small. We're going to bring a new lingo into the black community. <laughs> it's gourmet. <laughs> Gomez, <laughs> what's going on? What is that? Uh, no, Gomez green. I mean greens. Okay, so let's see. This is this is chickpeas. Mm. He's right. This is better. The mis oh, you got misa too. Mm -hmm. I like the misa. Mm -hmm. Misa. Okay. Like, this is actually. This is the red lentil. This is lentils here. <laughs> it's like so funny. Okay. I feel like I'm unrolling napkins, picking up some food, and then putting the napkin in my mouth with the food. <laughs> so, 
the injera is served cold. It's not hot. Um, as you can see, it has a spongy sort of texture and consistency to it. But it's light. I know this is the beets and potato Something salad. Something with so mustard. This is so this is similar to our, you know, Haitian, I think. Yeah, yeah, salad. it's the same thing. Okay, that doesn't have any more. Only good thing. You know what I mean? Okay. No, it's okay. No, it's not. The thing is that it's for, for proprietary, so we, we're not able mm. to know what, what spices they use. You know, but you gotta interview a chef, the chef could probably No, they won't tell. <laughs> okay, now you said this is something with mustard. Some uh, some kind of mustard involved. <laughs> what is that? I don't like this. You don't like that? It's not as flavorful as the other ones. No. <laughs> Okay, we'll moving try on. It again. But these greens, though. <laughs> the greens are good. We might have to bring that side. Let me see cabbage. No, the cabbage is not bad either. Bad? Okay, let's see. Being around the world and I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't even try that one. That's it. <laughs> no, it's not bad. You probably do better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not a cook, so. Oh, you're not? When other people make faces, I assume they know how to cook. <laughs> so. Mama, I, I, I can I could it on my own. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not bad. Okay, it's not bad. And how's your um? It's good. It's good. Um, it's lightly seasoned, but like I said, I can't. Other than the identifiable jalapenos. There's red onions, there's potatoes and the lamb, yeah. and there's tomatoes in here as well. But I'm 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 not familiar with the flavor profile. I don't I don't know. These are new flavors for me. Yeah. Now what I really want to do is get a bowl and put all of it together <laughs> and actually eat it. Do eat it. A spoon. I eat a lot of bowls as a vegetarian, so overall I like it. Um, so again, this was the lamb with potatoes, poor onions. Poor, oh, poor job. Oh, you just eating it so <laughs> I don't know why I always had this thing about lamb. I think because he's called Jesus the Lamb, so I just felt like he not the lamb is. Sick. Are you trying to guilt trip me? I'm not trying. I'm telling you why I used to feel guilty and you know, why I never he eat said, the lamb. Oh, he said, oh. The lamb. <laughs> the lamb. The lamb is so innocent. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so whenever you're in Atlanta, make sure you come out and check out the Desta Ethiopian Kitchen. Either the vegan platter or the lamb and potatoes with the jura. New flavors, new tastes. So signing out. I'm your girl, La Belle Martini. I'm out. Brown, we out. Well, eh? <laughs> Bye.